So just like when we did those stiff leg deadlifts, it's the same way I want you to start. Back's tight, back straight before I even lift. Come all the way up. I'm gonna bend down, hinging at the hips. I'm gonna pull back towards my pocket. alternating uh, dumbbell curl. So one, other arm, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then count ten more. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then straight after that, you're going to go into hammer curls. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven. Seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. This next one is a power shrug. So you'll see a lot of people just going like this. Okay. Your trap isn't just the muscle right here connected into your neck and into your shoulder. It goes all the way down into here into your upper middle back. So you want to make sure you activate all those muscle fibers. <clears throat> so I like to get a little lean, lean forward, and I'm pulling my shoulder blades up and back and trying to touch them. Last but not least, if you have a barbell at home, remember that straight bar that we used when we were in Louisiana? Same thing. Um, I have a bigger one, it's an Olympic bar. The one that you were using was just like a small curl bar. But uh, same idea. Okay, we want our hands about bench press grip width. Okay, I'm gonna come up. Same thing with the, with the rows earlier. Hinge at the hip, and I'm going to pull into my stomach. And that should be a pretty uh, easy to obtain um, back workout to do at home. All you need is one set of dumbbells and uh, a barbell with you know minimal weights depending on what your level is. You know one pair of 45s could work or uh, you know if you got a couple of 10 pound weights or something like that anything you know. If you feel like the weight's too light get more reps in. If feel like the weight's too heavy for what you have do less reps you know. Make do with what you got and that the, the thing is is to target all your muscle groups. So if you're doing calisthenic workouts at home, probably the only thing you're doing for your back is pull-ups and chin-ups, which is good. Great foundational exercises, but you really want to target all those other areas in the back that you're not going to get hit on a hypertrophy level by doing just pull-ups and chin-ups. So hope this is helpful.